Answers to questions posted to Hello, Central. From Four Winds Readers by PHB. Hello, Central. The 18 Laws of God and Creation. From, Sion, the 29th of December 2010. Good morning Mr. Bellringer. I came across one document posted in your Phoenix Journal Archive, number 27. The message in, The Laws of God and the Creation, or, The Laws of Balance, seems quite interesting to me. Here I have one question about these 18 laws. In the PDF document, you listed 18 laws and added somewhat lengthy description for each law. 1. What is the original source of the 18 laws? Do these laws come from any ancient Egyptian, for example, Akhenaten, or Gnostic texts? If so, please let me know its original source. 2. Or are they a totally new revelations? If so, who is a narrator, Aten, Sanander, and who is a receiver, you, of the revelation, and when? Your PDF file says it was published in 1993 and it was your third edition. Thanks. C. Response. From, Patrick H. Bellringer on, the 30th of December 2010. Dear C. Thank you for your letter and questions. We honor you for your desire to know truth. The 18 laws of God and creation were given to mankind many times in history. Isu Emmanuel, Jesus, Sananda brought these laws to us 2000 years ago, but today only 10 laws remain in the Holy Bible, and these have been distorted. So, Creator God Aten of Light has given to us one last time these laws again in Phoenix Journal number 27 for our enlightenment. Hatton Aten answers your question of how they were received in the forward to Phoenix Journal number 3 Space Gate. The Pleiadian Star Fleet has come to assist our Earth, Shan, in her transition into fifth dimension. The command ship is the Phoenix. Isu Emmanuel, Sananda, and other ascended masters are aboard the Phoenix with Commander Hatton. The 241 copies of the Phoenix journals were received by radio transmission from the Phoenix by Doris Ecker, Dharma, into Chachapi, California during the early 1990s. These journals were not channeled, but were accurately received by direct radio wave transmission and recorded accordingly. These laws of God and creation are cosmic laws, under which the entire cosmos operates. These laws are absolute and cannot be changed, regardless of what man may think. We are to learn to live these laws to the best of our ability in order to graduate out of third dimension and into fifth dimension heaven along with Earth Shan. This is planned by Creator God to happen very soon. I hope I have answered your questions. May you find the truth you seek. In love and light. Patrick H. Bellringer. Reference. Phoenix Journal Number 27, The Phoenix Operator Owner Manual. Reply. From, C. Dear Mr. Bellringer. Thank you very much for this quick answer. Can I ask two more questions? 1. Among 18 commandments, the first 10 laws seem same, or quite similar, with Moses 10. Commandments and the rest eight laws look new. So did Aten add these eight laws which has been lost for long time? Please let me know. 2. When I saw these laws a few days ago, I thought they were from an ancient Egyptian text. By Pharaoh Akhenaten because his god was also called Aten Aten. 
but I found there is no such an ancient text describing Aten's, or Akhenaten's, messages like these, 18 laws of Aten. So are these 18 laws nothing to do with Akhenaten? I am just curious. Thanks. C. Response. From, Patrick H. Bellringer. D.C. I shall try to answer any serious question you may have. To answer your first question of why there are only 10 laws in the Old Testament, I need to give you some background. The story of the Israelites in the Old Testament is just that, a story. The Zionist writers took the history of the Sumerians and rewrote it, as if it were theirs. This fake Moses supposedly received these altered ten laws from God Jehovah Satan, leaving out the other eight laws. Jehovah Satan would never want the people to know the whole truth. Remember, this is a story with no historical accuracy. You may wish to read Phoenix Journal number 50 page 80 in the following for further information about the Sumerians, links are in the description. The ancient Sumerian civilization was truly enlightened. The Sumerians located in the area of the junction of the Tigris and Euphrates rivers in Iraq, known as the Garden of Eden. They experienced the miracles of the Old Testament, were highly civilized beyond our world today, did space travel, and were truly God Aten's chosen people, living in the promised land. Their civilization was completely destroyed by the serpent people of Satan. The Old Testament writings by the Zionists made us believe that today's Israel is the promised land, and these are the chosen people. They are the chosen people of Jehovah Satan. Your second question was about Pharaoh Akhenaten, also Akhenaten. Yes, there is a connection to the laws of God and creation. This pharaoh was the most enlightened of all the pharaohs of Egypt and knew of Aten and of these laws. In the Phoenix Journals Hatton says that in a past life stream his scribe, Doris Ecker, Dharma, who recorded most of the Phoenix Journals, was pharaoh Akhenaten. Akhenaten was named after creator god Aten of light. Most history has been distorted to keep truth from us. In Love and Light. Patrick H. Bellringer. Source, 4winds10.com. Editor's Note, to all my listeners and viewers. Please check out the description section of this video for the above source reference links and further comments. From there you will also have access to the banned Phoenix Journals by the US government along with the starting set of Phoenix Journals, as recommended by Commander Hatton to read first. The journals help unravel and clarify the many lies, tamperings and misconceptions foisted upon the masses. By those who seek to control the thoughts, perceptions and actions of others from generation to generation. Especially those of the true Christed life teachings of Isu Emmanuel Jesus Sananda. For uninformed readers, the new name and title of Sananda is an earned level of utmost respect and achievement for the accomplished and highly revered master teacher, meaning one with God. As a matter of fact, even your mistranslated and tampered with Bibles mentions that he would have a new name upon his return. The Phoenix Journals are the word of truth given forth to mankind from the higher realms of light, during this most critical transition time upon Earth's evolution to a higher dimension. Please like, share and subscribe to help support my YouTube channel, and as always have a wonderful day. In love and light. Thank you.